Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a zombie horror film. Yummy. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The movie begins with a bald janitor cleaning a morgue. Suddenly, he notices a doctor named Dr. Crazy entering with a corpse. They put the corpse into the incinerator and leave it to burn. The bald janitor doesn't think much of it and continues to do his job. But suddenly, he hears some noises coming from the incinerator. Fearing that the body is still alive, the bald janitor rushes to the incinerator and opens it. But he is attacked and seemingly killed by a zombie arm. Now, we see a creep staring at a curvy girl named Allison. He calls his friends over to stare at Allison, making her uncomfortable. Things get worse when the boys make disgusting actions towards Allison, so she covers her sexy body. She's shown to be with her boyfriend and her mom as they make their way to a rejuvenation clinic. Mom steps out to do her smelly business, so Allison and boyfriend have a brief chat about her growing body parts. Allison also taunts boyfriend about his growing beer belly. Later, they continue their journey but hit an animal on the road. The two go to inspect it and are shocked to see the gruesome state of the animal. Boyfriend decides to put the animal out of its misery, but then another car suddenly shows up and kills the animal, spilling its blood all over Boyfriend, who has a fear of blood. After a smelly puking session, he gets a new t-shirt while Allison gets stared at by more creeps. Mom simply tells her that she should be grateful for what God has given her. Allison ignores her, and the team finally reaches the rejuvenation clinic. They meet a host who talks to Mom about her heavily detailed treatment. An innocent girl named Virgin looks at Allison's sexy body and compliments her. Virgin even asks if Allison got her body enhanced by Dr. Crazy, but she says it's natural. Boyfriend notices there are many young girls at the clinic, but the host mentions that they're here for free abortions. Suddenly, Boyfriend starts feeling woozy after seeing some blood, and Mom mocks him acting like a chicken. It reveals that Boyfriend dropped out of medical school because of this phobia, but Allison defends his condition. Now we see Dr. Crazy treating the smelly part of a famous man named Celeb. Dr. Crazy is pleased with the progress on Celeb. Meanwhile, Virgin confuses Boyfriend's blood phobia, thinking that he's scared of being gay, but Boyfriend corrects her. The group passes by Celeb, who catches Virgin's attention, and then they meet Dr. Crazy. He inspects Allison's body and suggests that she get a G cup. Allison shocks him by saying she actually wants to become smaller, preferably a B cup. Boyfriend says he loves Allison the way she is, but she ignores him and maintains that she wants to reduce her giant size. Later, Boyfriend brings out an engagement ring, hoping to propose to Allison, but instead, she lets him enjoy her cups for one last time. They are interrupted by a shady man, who believes that Boyfriend is here for surgery. Shady is shocked to hear that Allison is the one who wants to reduce her size and starts flirting with her shamelessly in front of Boyfriend. He even mocks Boyfriend's car. Mom undergoes her surgery, after which Allison is called for her operation. Boyfriend starts asking all kinds of questions, because he doubts the standards of the clinic, and it leads to an argument. Allison calms him down, and then Shady offers to take Boyfriend around the clinic for a tour. Boyfriend reluctantly agrees to this. Shady tells Boyfriend that China used to have plastic surgery thousands of years ago, but Boyfriend isn't impressed by his shady words. Shady throws some more shade at Boyfriend by saying the doctors in this clinic actually finished all their studies, unlike him. He also tells Boyfriend that it's easy for him to get women after the surgeries. This is because it's a free hormone market for him after the girls become vulnerable post-surgery. He takes Boyfriend inside a room and leaves for the washroom. However, Boyfriend notices some sounds from a secret room and inspects it. He finds a naked woman strapped to a bed with a mask, seemingly struggling for breath. He takes off the mask, but learns that the woman is a zombie. Shady hears the shouting and rushes to the scene. He takes Boyfriend away from the zombie and makes him promise not to mention what he just saw. However, Shady separates from Boyfriend and runs away. Now, Boyfriend rushes to Allison because he wants to take her away from the clinic. This leads to an argument before Boyfriend gets stabbed with an injection by a surgeon. He faints and is woken up later by the host, who tells him he had a panic attack. Boyfriend panics after hearing some weird sounds next to him, but it's just a struggling patient. He convinces the host to set him loose because he's calmer now. However, he goes straight to Allison and says they need to leave immediately. At that time, it seems as if everyone is evacuating the area now. It turns out that zombies have broken loose in the clinic thanks to the naked zombie girl chewing her way out of her straps. Suddenly, the lights go off and the humans are brutally attacked by the zombies. Panic ensues as the zombies feast on the innocent humans, and then we see Allison looking for mom with boyfriend. They come across a naked lady running away in fear and a zombie doctor munching on a lady's smelly parts. The zombie notices Allison and her boyfriend, so he crawls after them in a chase scene. Boyfriend picks up a pole and tries to kill the zombie, but he accidentally gets an electric shock when his pole hits the lights. 
He falls down to the floor and starts bleeding, so it appears as if he is dead. Allison runs away from the crawling zombie, but bumps into another zombie, so she rushes towards a surgery room. The zombies reach this room and attack the doctors over there, which causes one of them to accidentally plug liquids into the patient's body. This results in a giant explosion, but Allison manages to escape before getting blown. Celeb rushes into a hideout spot and finds Virgin also over there, so they decide to hide together. Allison finds a patient infected with chemical burns due to her nurse running away before completing the process. Allison takes the patient to the hideout spot, but Celeb doesn't let them inside because he mistakes the patient to be a zombie. The patient can't take the pain anymore, so she runs away while Allison chases after her. Virgin starts to fall for Celeb after his gesture because she thinks he's saved her life. Now, Allison runs into her mom and worries that she's dead, but luckily, mom is still alive, although she isn't fully conscious. Allison finds a zombie feasting on her own intestines, but mom alerts the zombie by mistake. The zombie chases after them, eventually leading to Allison and mom breaking into Shady's room. Unfortunately, mom gets bitten and Shady kills the zombie with a fire extinguisher. Now, Virgin wants to play hormone yoga with Celeb. He eventually gives in to temptation, but asks Virgin to be gentle with him because his private but smelly part just went through an enlargement operation. Two minutes later, they finish the yoga. Celeb accidentally burns his little thing with hot water. He asks Virgin to help him, but she makes it worse by setting his crotch on fire. She uses a fire extinguisher to cool him down, but Celeb's smoked sausage breaks and drops to the floor. He panics and rushes outside to get a doctor, but gets eaten by zombies in a brutal fashion. Elsewhere, Boyfriend wakes up trying to figure out what just happened. However, he starts to feel dizzy again from all the blood he's seen. He then comes across a secret room where he notices experimental embryos being stored in jars, possibly made for pickles. One of the embryo monsters suddenly opens its eyes and it scares Boyfriend. He bumps into one jar and breaks it open. The monster embryo breaks free and chases after him. He manages to avoid it by rushing into a room where Dr. Crazy and the host are hiding. Meanwhile, Allison, Shady, and Mom are running away from some zombies. They meet up with another doctor named Curly, who tells them that God is punishing humans for interfering with his creations. Dr. Crazy helps Boyfriend get some candy from a vending machine, and then they bump into Allison and the others. However, Shady knocks Boyfriend down, thinking he is a zombie. Allison and her boyfriend are reunited with a kiss, but Dr. Crazy spots that Mom has been bitten. Realizing that Mom will turn into a zombie, he says they should kill her, but Allison is against it. Dr. Crazy forces the issue, but Mom putes her blood all over his face, so now he is also infected. He has no choice but to take the team to the pharmacy, so that he can try to create a vaccine. He also says something to the host in a foreign language, and it catches Shady's attention. The team crosses a zombie that acts aggressively with everyone, but not with Mom, because she is slowly transforming. Curly spots an embryo monster and kicks it, but the monster falls into a horde of zombies and alerts them. The team rushes to the pharmacy, and Dr. Crazy tries to make a vaccine for the zombie virus. He tries his first version on Mom, but it doesn't seem to work on her. He starts working again, but Curly senses something suspicious, because Dr. Crazy seems to be able to create the vaccines very easily. It turns out, Dr. Crazy had actually created the zombie virus as part of his treatment programs, but without the consent of his patients. Curly demands an explanation, but he says he had patient Zero under control and has no idea how she escaped. That's when Boyfriend realizes that the zombie he freed earlier was actually Patient Zero. Dr. Crazy explains how he was using the enzymes to create a solution to aging. But before he can continue, he is killed by the host, who says it was better to kill Dr. Crazy as a man rather than an animal. The others panic as Mom's condition grows worse. Boyfriend says he can help Curly make the vaccine, but it doesn't work, and Mom bites Curly. Shady tries to chop off Curly's arm, but his axe accidentally gets broken. Curly quickly shreds his arm off in a shredding machine, but almost kills himself, so the host shuts off the machine. Mom is beyond repair, so Boyfriend is told to kill her. He's unable to do it, so Allison has to murder her own mom in a painful sequence. She starts crying, but hugs Shady instead of Boyfriend, so it makes him jealous. The team tries to escape, but the door appears to be locked, so Boyfriend makes a cheap bomb to blow it open. However, it just turns out to be a sliding door, and he gets mocked by the others. Suddenly, Boyfriend is attacked by a sexy zombie, but he fights her off without hormone mercy. He pushes away the zombie and ends up attaching the cheap bomb to her. The team makes it to the top of the building, and they cross over to the other side by using a plank. Everyone makes it through, but Curly falls off the plank and dies because Shady isn't able to grab his non-existent arm. 
More zombies show up, so the team quickly escapes to the opposite building's topmost floor. The host accidentally tears her clothes while entering, so she tries to change, but Shady catches her in the act. The host tells him to leave, but he says he understands the foreign language she spoke with Dr. Crazy earlier. It turns out that the host was responsible for creating the virus in the first place. She tries to seduce Shady to keep his mouth shut, but he refuses because she smells too bad for him. Now, Shady finds Allison, who hugs him because she is still emotional. Boyfriend spots them together and only feels worse. The team decides to go down a garbage chute to escape, but Boyfriend putes before making his way to a dumpster. The team goes through the chute one by one, but Shady threatens the host into giving him some money before it's his turn. She reluctantly agrees, and then the team moves into the building's lower section. They find Virgin hiding from a zombie and try to help her. During this time, the host finds a strapped zombie in a corner room and tricks Shady into entering it. He gets bitten by the zombie, but also ends up killing the host. The others come to the scene, but Shady lies to them about what happened and even hides his bite mark. The team finds the army waiting outside the clinic, so Virgin gets out and runs towards them. However, she's shot down because the army doesn't want to risk any contamination. The remaining three move towards the sewers, but are chased by zombies. Chaos follows, and Boyfriend gets bitten by an embryo monster before he kills it. Shady spots this and tells Boyfriend that he is infected, but has no proof that the embryo monsters can infect humans like the zombies. Boyfriend takes this chance to propose to Allison, but she mocks him and runs away with Shady. She finds a manhole, but it's next to the army, so they push the lid on her fingers when she tries to come out. Boyfriend saves Allison by chopping off her fingers, and then Shady finds another escape route. Allison makes it out, but only one more person can join her because of the elevated ladder. Shady is still hiding his infection, so he convinces Boyfriend to stay behind and give his keys to Allison. A zombie attacks Boyfriend, but he manages to kill it and uses its intestines as a rope. Boyfriend asks Shady to help him up, but he ignores the rope and reveals his bite mark to Boyfriend. A zombie horde attacks Boyfriend, while Shady and Allison find his car after avoiding the army. There, Allison learns that her boyfriend has been bitten, but he tries to force zombified hormones on her. Luckily, Allison stabs him and throws him out of the car. Shady turns into a zombie, but Allison kills him brutally before escaping. Now, Boyfriend notices the zombie, who has his cheap bomb attached to her, so he detonates it immediately. Despite the explosion, Boyfriend makes it out alive and drags himself to the road. He spots Allison driving towards him, so he signals to her that he's alive. However, Allison kills him, thinking he's a zombie. Upon realizing that she has murdered her boyfriend, Allison panics and gets into an accident that kills her as well. The movie ends with boyfriend's engagement ring rolling towards Allison's corpse in the car. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.